Hello Kitty shoes and clothes for everyone to wear, a collaborative vinyl figure. What's going on YouTube land? I am Chris Catalunya. If you haven't checked me out on Instagram yet, the username is Chris Catalunya with an underscore at the end. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll know when I upload new videos. Fight the algorithm, especially for the fact that 95% of y'all watching these videos aren't subscribed to the channel. I'd appreciate the support. If you've been a fan of the channel for a while, you already know that I've lived in Japan for a good portion of my childhood. It goes without saying, most kids where I lived bought into Dragon Ball, Sailor Moon, Slam Dunk, and of course, Sanrio. I can't tell you how much Sanrio stationery that I still have at my parents' house from the Bats Maru pencils, the Pachaco erasers and lunchboxes, and the Hello Kitty notepads, pretty much everything under the sun. On birthdays, my parents even pulled my sister out from school to go to Sanrio Puro Land, which is like Disneyland, but Hello Kitty. Now, I was never fortunate enough to get pulled out from school to go to Sanrio Puro Land. Rather, I went during the Japanese summer camp field trip in the fourth grade, so I got my chance. Fast forward to present day, age 34. I have the Hello Kitty Puma suede shoe collab. Check out the review in the corner above. I have several Johnny Cupcakes, Sanrio, Hello Kitty collaborations, and a bunch of Hello Kitty shots. I've just been invested in the culture since ever since. But for this video, we're focused on the collaborative effort between Hello Kitty and the Swoosh on the Nike Air Presto Lows. Now, the Nike Air Prestos are a silhouette that I really love a lot. They're super comfortable, they're super breathable, super light. Now, if you didn't know, back in 2004, Stephen Smith, who is now head at Yeezy, when at Nike, he led this project between Hello Kitty or Sanrio and Nike. 500 pairs of the shoes between the two companies were supposed to release, but that never happened. Rather, the project never came to fruition, leaving a good amount of samples out in the wild. Concerning this new capsule, I received these items about a week ago. I was lucky enough to get these sneakers along with some apparel pieces, the hoodie and the shirt that you see right here via the Sanrio website on May 11th, 2022. The box is hella dope. Fat black strokes outline the box. You have the rounded blue swoosh with the Hello Kitty bow in red. It looks pretty good. And you have that label going all the way across the box and at the back too. And then the sizing label up front. Flipping the lid, the tissue paper has repeating Hello Kitty heads and that same Nike swoosh logo that you saw at the top of the box done in black and white. The inside tray also has Hello Kitty winking. And under all that tissue paper, the shoes. They're pretty impressive and I'm definitely gonna have to double up on these. Thankfully, it shouldn't be that difficult of a cop. I'm very appreciative that Nike made sizes not only for women. I know in the USA, Hello Kitty is thought to be more directed towards females, but outside of the USA, it's definitely not the case. Even this dude in Japan is crazy for the character. 私は the Hello Kitty Nike Air Prestos. These had an official release via the Sanrio website on May 11th, 2022, retailing at $140 USD. Add your tax and your VAT based on where you reside. Now, these should be dropping at most sneaker boutiques such as Kiki ATX and Sneaker Politics on May 27th, 2022. Now, concerning resale, a week before these release, they aren't faring too well on StockX and GOAT hitting prices slightly above retail, depending on the size that you need. So these should be a pretty good cop, a pretty easy cop. Again, these aren't super limited, though don't expect these to show up on your mall footwear apps like your Champs or your, your Foot Locker, those types of things. Now, I can't speak to release information about the apparel. I think it may have been limited to the Sanrio and the Nike websites. Luckily, I copped these on the Sanrio websites, the hoodie and the tee. Unfortunately, here in Texas is triple digits already. I have to wait to wear this hoodie. Let's get back onto the shoe. 
The upper is made of a light blue neoprene mesh attaining repeating Hello Kitty patterns. The Nike swoosh that you see right here on the vamp is embroidered in white. The mudguard or the toe cap is protected with a clear TPU panel. The cage that you see right here wrapping on the lateral and the medial sides of the shoe, this is also done in a white TPU material where at the ends you'll see some of those lace holes for the shoelaces. Very stylish and functional. This cage not only wraps around the top of the foot but also wraps around the ankle and forms into a cute Hello Kitty head. It's pretty funny. The medial side of the shoe has a raised black Nike swoosh where right here you see a debossed Presto logo. On Nike Prestos, there isn't a traditional tongue like you would see on a normal shoe, being that this is built in a sock like manner, though where the tongue would be at the very top, you see this plastic red Hello Kitty bow going on, giving it some flair. Connecting the cages and securing the shoe to the foot, you have these oval shaped laces done up in white where the auglets are done in that Hello Kitty red. Getting into the sock liner, the outside is done in a black velvet material that feels pretty good. But as you look, if you remove the insole, you'll see some white meshing going on. On these sides, it's not very padded at the ladder or at the medial. It's somewhat padded at the heel. I don't know if that makes or breaks it for y'all. Removing the insoles, the design pattern is pretty whimsical. You have the park scenery going on where you have the cute sun, the blue sky, and the rainbows, and that very green grass all placed on a thin piece of black foam. Moving on, the midsole, which is this white base that goes all the way around the shoe, is done in EVA foam, which provides some comfort, some support, some cushioning. You have some black raised Nike swooshes right here, and then the five dots right here on the lateral side. On the bottom of the shoe, this is otherwise noted as the outsole is done in a black blown rubber component for durability and traction. Nike notes this as their proprietary technology being Enduralon and VRS 1000, Blue Ribbon Sports 1000. When it comes to sizing, Prestos usually come in whole sizes only. I didn't check if there's an eight and a half or anything like that, though I believe it's the same for this Hello Kitty run. Now, Personally, I went with a size 9 and I feel pretty comfortable in them. The neoprene upper is pretty stretchy. I'd suggest that if you're in a half size like an 8.5 that you go up to your nearest whole size. We've already touched on comfortability just a little bit. In my other Prestos, they've always felt comfortable straight out of the box. I've never felt the need to use my insoles or arch supports. If it says anything, my Prestos are pretty much my go-to when I go to Disneyland or Six Flags. Overall, this collaborative project has been overdue. With the first mentions of this project back in 2004, I'm glad we're finally seeing these shoes come into reality. I love the theme of the shoe, I love the capsule, love the box, the box is hella dope. And I'm glad that they didn't make this shoe gaudy because with the name Hello Kitty on it, they could have taken this shoe design so many places. It's tasteful. The capsule is whimsical, it's cute, it's reminiscent of my childhood, but most of all, it's attainable. If you put in the footwork, you should be able to secure a pair. The price point of $140 is very reasonable and looking at resale, that's super reasonable too. Hopefully it doesn't jump up to a crazy amount come release date. And I don't know anyone who's ever complained about the comfort of a Nike Air Presto. All right, y'all, I think this is a good stopping point for this video. What are your thoughts on this collaborative effort between Nike and Hello Kitty on this Nike Air Presto? Which other Sanrio characters would you like to see get their own colorway? I think we need a purple Pachaco and I think we need a black Bass Maru Presto. That would be hella dope. If you haven't checked out the gram already, check me out at Chris Catalunya with an underscore at the end. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll know when I upload a new video. Fight the algorithm. Thanks for kicking it with me. I'm Chris Catalunya, and we'll check you next time. Cheers. See you now.